Hello and welcome. Today's theme and intention for our practice and our schedule is going to be gratitude. The idea of gratitude and being in the state of conscious gratitude is such a powerful tool in our life. So many times we go through our day where we forget. We forget the little things that we are so grateful for and that we're blessed to have. And once we begin to take a step back and become aware of all the wonderful things that you have and that you've been given, then it starts to evolve our experience of life and this human existence. So for today's practice, I want you to really take a moment and send out gratitude for everything that you feel. You know, the failures, the successes, everything that has been brought to you and that's challenged you, be grateful for that because it has taught you something and being grateful for even the challenges that are brought to us in our lives is one of the most beautiful ways we can really start to explore this self-growth and evolution. Our yoga class this morning is going to be movement vinyasa. And this class is going to be all about, one, challenging your body, like always, but secondly, moving with this energy and finding moments within the practice to take a breath, to smile, and find your gratitude. So with that said, let's get started. We're going to begin seated on our mats with your feet crossed in front of you. And taking this opportunity right now to take a breath and disconnect from everything that's on your mind. You can add a little bit of movement here. And the reason you wanna add is a little bit of movement is just to find that comfortable spot in your body. Notice where you're feeling the tension and where you're feeling a lot more open today. Keeping your awareness internally, take a deep breath in and exhale, just let it go. Check in with yourself. Ask yourself the same question you asked in the very beginning of this program. How am I feeling? How are you feeling? How is your body feeling right now? Where, where is your mind right now? What state are you in? Without any judgment or attachment, simply ask yourself this simple question and let that sink in. Becoming aware of the reasons why you feel the way you feel right now. Take another deep breath in. Exhale out. Find your presence. And take this moment to find your gratitude for having this opportunity to be able to work on yourself, to give yourself the gift of health and well being, even for just one hour. Take another deep breath in. Exhale. Now open your eyes and just smile and find your gratitude. When you are ready, let's begin. We're going to start today in child's pose, coming onto the back of your mat. And let's uh, keep our knees together and simply allow your body to rest over top of your legs. Forehead coming down, and just breathing deeply. Setting an intention for this practice today to be grateful for every stage that you are in. So whether you are finding a specific posture challenging, be grateful for that because it's showing you, it's teaching you of where you need to improve. 
or if you're finding this sense of bliss and joy in a posture, find your gratitude for that because it is teaching you how far you've come. And it's giving you the opportunity to really love and enjoy this physical body that you are. So in every moment, good or bad, whatever way you like to label it, there is a lesson. And with that lesson comes gratitude. Because no matter what it is, it pushes us forward to become better. Take another deep breath in. Now exhale, let's just simply reach towards the left side of your mat, stretching up the right side of your body. Keep your forehead down and just feel that gentle release starting to happen along the right side of your back. And then do the same thing to the other side, lengthening through the left side of your body. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Let's come back to center. Let's take another inhalation and feel free to work with the Ujjayi breath if that felt good for you from our yesterday's practice or just do whatever feels good. A regular breathing is great too. Slowly let's begin to round through the spine. Good, and then from here, Go ahead and release with the belly all the way to the ground. Inhale, we're gonna move and lift up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up halfway, baby cobra. Exhale, press into the hands, bring yourself up, take it back into child's pose. So lots of fluidity here. A lot of movement as you roll through. Drop the belly. Bend the elbows, open into that baby cobra. Take it down. Lift back up into your baby cobra. Press into the mat and come back over into your child's pose. Again, come on through. Bend the elbows like you're about to do a push up. Drop the belly and the hips onto the mat. Lift up a little higher. Exhale down. Lift back up again, press and release, child's pose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale slowly from here, round through. And again, bending the elbows, bringing the belly down. And then from here, pressing into the hands and lifting up into a full upward facing dog. So now opening deeper through the upper body. Now drop the shoulders away from the ears. So first to practice, you can lift it up to your, ear, your ears and then feel the sensation of elongating the spine, opening through the chest cavity here. Lifting your knees and your thighs off the mat. And then as you exhale, lift your hips and release into downward facing dog. And let's just take this downward dog and breathe into it, adding some movement into the body here. Deep breath in, lift your knee, uh, heels off the floor. Exhale, bend your knees so they hover. Inhale, extend your legs. Exhale, drop the heels to the ground. And again, lift your heels, bend the knees, extend the knees and drop the heels down. Two more times, going a little bit deeper each time into your downward dog. Bend the knees, extend, and press those heels to the ground. Last time, lift up, bend the knees, extend, and let's press and just soak in all the good stretches here in this downward facing dog, all this feeling of the body releasing tension, stiffness. Take a breath and then add a smile and find your gratitude. Be grateful for what you're experiencing right now in your body. Be grateful for your body, being able to move, being able to do yoga. 
Take another deep breath in. Now as you exhale, we're gonna round through the spine into plank position, rolling like a wave, coming into plank, pull the navel into the spine. Exhale, arch the back and push back. Inhale, round through, plank position. Exhale, arch the back and release. It's moving with fluidity, almost like you're trying to imitate a body of water. Finding this gracefulness, peacefulness, fluid motion through the spine and the rest of your body. One more time. Arch the back and release. Now come through into your plank. As you begin to arch the back, drop the hips, upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, bring your chest back down into a hover, like a chaturanga hover. Come back up into your upward facing dog and then exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Great job. Breathe in, exhale. Great, now from this position, go ahead and bring your knees and let them hover above the ground. Finding that strength and stability here. Inhale. And then as you exhale, drop your knees to the floor and extend your left leg out, right arm forward. So finding this balance, the stability here. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, begin to open your right arm to the side, left leg to the other side. So see how far you can open and notice where the balance starts to go. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, open for two. Inhale, come back to center, hold. Exhale, take your right arm behind you, grab the back heel and lift yourself up. Open up and stretch. Lift as high as you can. Exhale, point your toes, release. Reach your right arm forward, left leg back. Drop your hand down, tuck your toes. Lift your knee and just hover for three, two, one. Extending your right leg. Left leg reaches up to the sky, three-legged dog. Let's hold here for just one breath. Exhale, round through into plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, opening into upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly coming through back to the knees, hovering, holding here for three, two, one. Drop the knees, slowly extending your right leg out. Bring your left arm forward, finding that balance. Breathing deeply here, three, two pull the navel into the spine inhale now exhale take your left arm to the side right leg to the side and bring it back to center and again see how far you can open bring it back to center nice and slow Take your left arm back, grab your back foot, bend your knee, and begin to lift your body and arch the back. Open yourself up. Hold and pull, finding that stability. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release. Hand down. Tuck your toes, hover that knee. Three, two, one, extend your knee and reach your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Hold here for one breath, inhale. Exhale, rounding through into your chaturanga, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Holding here for three breaths, and again, allowing yourself to sink a little bit deeper into this posture. Sternum is falling down towards the mat, and roll those shoulders under so your elbows are pointing towards the mat. Good, just finding this peaceful moment within yourself. 
taking a breath, taking another smile and finding your gratitude again. Let's go ahead and lift your heels, bend your knees, look to the top of the mat, step or hop forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen into your Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, just release. Go ahead and take your hands behind your head and simply place a little bit of weight into your neck so you feel a bit more of a stretch of a decompression through the neck, through the cervical spine. And then slowly releasing your hands. Deep breath in, halfway up. Exhale, slowly begin to roll up for three, two, and one. Opening up into that Tadasana, your mountain pose. Let's just take a moment, bring the palms together to your heart. And connecting with your heart. With your inhalation, just allowing yourself to feel this pranic energy through you. Be grateful for everything you're able to do right now in your life, physically and mentally. And in this moment right now in our practice, find that gratitude. Moving into now Surya Namaskar B, to get the body a little bit more warmed up here, let's take an inhale, bend your knees, Utkatasana, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, let's take two steps back first, plank position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stepping your right foot between your two hands. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, reaching both arms up. Now turn the palms so they're facing towards the front of your mat. Inhale, reach, exhale, cactus arms and squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squeeze and open. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive the arms down, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stepping your left foot between your two hands, opening the heel, Virabhadrasana one. Finding that strength, that balance, that power, lengthening, inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows and squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squeeze and open. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive it down, step back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Holding for two breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and bend your knees, hop forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly reach up, lengthen out. Reaching the arms up to the sky and exhale, coming down to your Samastiti. Take a deep breath in. Find your smile and find your gratitude again. Open your eyes. Let's do it again. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, hop back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot to the top of the mat. Open up the heel and lift up into your warrior one. Good, finding that center. Deep breath in. Exhale, this time we're gonna do big arm circles. You're gonna open with your elbows straight, then reach forward. Lift up, open the chest and the heart. Reach forward, lots of movement here. Inhale, open. Exhale, dive down. Step back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Next leg, right leg comes forward. Open and ground your heel. Arms up, warrior one. Let's give those arms a big circle as you open. Try to feel that energy through your body as you move with your breath. 
with your presence and with your gratitude. Inhale, open. Warrior one, exhale. Dive it down, step back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it here for three breaths. See if you can bring back that ujjayi breath. Bend your knees, hop to the top of the mat. Halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Lift up. Exhale, Samastiti. Good. Reconnect. Find your center. Sometimes what you can even do is place your hands on the heart. If that helps you, feel your own heartbeat. And allow your heartbeat to remind you of this pranic energy that is running through you, that's keeping you vibrant, alive, and healthy. And feeling your heartbeat in your hands. Smile and find gratitude. Deep breath in. Exhale, let's release the hands. Inhale, slowly just reach both arms up to the sky, opening through the body, through the chest. Release as far as you can. Exhale, bend your elbows and begin to slowly bend your knees and come on down. Three, two, as slow as you can. One, hands onto the mat as you extend your knees. Inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine, look up. Exhale, ground the palms of your hands and let's hop right into Chaturanga. Holding Chaturanga for three, two, one. Point your toes, opening, upward facing dog. And exhale, releasing, downward facing dog. Inhale from here, go ahead and reach your right leg up to the sky. Bending the knee and stepping through to the top of your mat. Drop your left knee to the ground. And then from here, opening into that low lunge. You can keep your back toes tucked under or pointed if that's better for you. Good, and just hold this position. And then see if you can bend your left elbow and just grab onto the elbow and pull it a little bit more so you're feeling that deeper stretch through the tricep here. If you like to go even further, you can bring the right arm behind your back and see if you can connect the fingertips together like so. Otherwise, you can just stay here, opening through the body. Slowly from here, extending both arms up towards the sky. Tuck your toes under. Let's lift up into our crescent lunge. Inhale, open. Good, now from here, we're gonna do those cactus arms again where we bend the elbows and squeeze the shoulder blades together, then extend the arms, connect the hands, and lift up for one. Bend the elbows, open, connect the hands for two. Up, bend the elbows, open, and three, up. Bend the elbows, open, and four, hold. And slowly bring yourself up, deep breath in, exhale, push forward, warrior three. Hands in front of your chest, finding that balance. Slowly from this position, lifting yourself up, bringing your left knee up to the chest, flex your foot, and then turn so you place the ankle on top of your right knee and begin to sit down into that standing pigeon pose. Finding that center, breathing deeply. Now to go one step further, what we can do here is now take your left elbow and see if you can place the elbow on top of that inner foot of your left foot. And just hold here and breathe. Mm -hmm. 
slowly from here, returning back to center. Now you're going to keep your left hand at your chest, grab the outside of your left foot, and then slowly from here, start to lift up and begin to see if you can extend this leg in front of you. Once you got that extension, then see if you can release your left arm back into that nice twist. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly from here, release the leg. You're going to transition into bringing your left hand down, right arm up into a twisted warrior three. And if you need to bend your knee a little bit, that's one variation you can do, just finding the balance. Otherwise, try your best to extend that leg as much as you can. Deep breath in. Exhale, ground your left heel, cartwheeling the arms up. Inhale, open up. Exhale, begin to take your body forward, coming into our pyramid pose, where we extend the arms back and just reach for the opposite elbows. Or you can take a reversed prayer position, if that's within your practice, and then start to lean forward. You can either stop here, and this is more than enough for you today, and you're feeling that limitation, or you can begin to lower down as far as you possibly can until your forehead comes closer towards that knee. I'm just breathing deeply here, finding that sense of balance, power, strength. And then find that moment to put a tiny smile on your face and find gratitude. I'm just taking one more deep breath in here, going a little bit deeper if you can with that forehead to the knee. And then exhale, start to lift yourself up. Good, open up, bend your knee and just step forward between the top of the mat here, feet together. Keeping that reverse prayer position as you open the chest, deep breath in and then exhale, let go of your arms. Inhale, let's reach up. Exhale, dive it back down, nice and slow. Remember that fluidity through the body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hop back into plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. This time, taking your left leg up to the sky, bending your knee, and moving it through and forward towards the top of the mat. Drop your right, right knee all the way down to the floor and then opening into that low lunge. Feeling that center. Feel free to release the back toes if that feels good for you and really focus on opening through the psoas, your hip flexor. Once we're in this position, let's just go ahead and bend that right elbow and grab your right elbow with your left hand and start to pull the elbow closer towards your head, towards your face. If it's within your practice, you can of course Take that left arm behind your back and reach. Otherwise, hold it here. Deep breath in, just really opening through that whole right side of the body. The shoulder, the tricep, the psoas, hip flexor. One more inhale. Exhale, releasing the hands. Lifting your back knee off the floor. Crescent lunge as you open. Let's add the movement here, bending the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together, extend and reach forward, connecting the palms of your hands. Inhale, lift, bend the elbows. As you exhale, come forward. Inhale up, bend the elbows, open and release. Last time, up, bend the elbows, open and release. Lift it up and hold. Exhale, slowly from here, transitioning up into our warrior three, extending that back leg, finding the center here. Finding that power, that balance, and then slowly lift yourself up. Bring your right knee to the chest and then grab onto the ankle and just place the heel right above the left knee and then you can just let it slide so it's right above the knee here palms together deep breath in exhale let's start to bend the bottom knee 
and come into our standing pigeon pose. Really feeling a nice steep opening through the glute muscle here. Focusing on a drishti point if you wish and just hold. Let's add a little bit more for those of you that wish to take it up one step further and add a little twist by adding your right elbow to the inside of your right foot. Keeping that energy between the palms of your hands. Breathe. Find stillness of the mind in this powerful standing asana. Find gratitude for your strength. Awesome, now slowly from here, we're going to untwist the body. Take your left hand and grab the outside of your right foot and then begin to lift yourself up. Slowly from here, see if you can begin to extend your right leg and then reach your right arm behind you. Hold. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly release. And then step this right hand forward towards the mat or on the ground and taking your reversed warrior three. And again, if you need a little more support, bend that bottom knee until you feel comfortable releasing that leg. Otherwise, try your best to keep a full extension and twist. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knee, step your right foot to the back of your mat, cartwheel the arms. So you're just doing a big windmill, opening the body. And then exhale, coming into our pyramid pose. So as you come down, take your arms behind your back and either grab your opposite elbows or you can take a full reversed prayer position. Deep breath in, exhale. Let's slowly begin to release the body. With each exhalation, trying to get closer with your forehead to the knee while still remaining that square position with the hips. Breathing deeply. And whatever sensations you are experiencing right now, allow a smile to come through and notice how it changes the energy. And through that smile, find gratitude. One more deep breath. Exhale, begin to lift up. Lift up your body, keep your hands behind your back and then step forward with your feet together. Opening out, close your eyes and just take a breath. Let all of that sensation settle in your body. And again, find that smile and gratitude. Be great, grateful for this experience of release, movement, and breath. Slowly release the hands and bring them down next to the side of your body. Inhale, reaching both arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive it all the way down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, hop right into downward facing dog. So you're just going to hop and lift your hips right up. Hold here for a breath, really feel that openness. And then exhale, bend your knees, hop back forward to the top of the mat, but this time landing with your feet almost at the edges of the mat. So coming back into that yogic squat or malasana, opening your chest, palms of your hands together, keeping that energy interlocked between the palms of your hands and adding some pressure with your elbows to push the knees apart. Breathing deeply. We're gonna hold there a little bit longer. And for those of you that have been able to go into your binds or would like to try the bind again, you're more than welcome to take a bind here in this posture by just bringing your left arm around, right arm back and opening your body making this optional for you guys. If the bind isn't really something you're wanting to do today, then that's okay. Just stay in your malasana. Otherwise, go ahead and do each side. So if you're doing the bind, switch to the other side. And then come back to center, back to our yogic squat, really opening through the body. 
exhale let's bring the hands down and then from here going right into your crow so we've done the crow a couple of times now and I hope you've had a lot of time to practice it so let's get right into it grab the mat with your fingertips press the palms of your hands flat on the floor and then from here lift your heels bring the knees on top of your triceps and begin to lift one foot and second foot and hold your crow just practicing coming out and coming back in if you have to and then once you're ready to come out see if you can hop right into plank or take two steps into plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog opening up your body and exhale downward facing dog inhale from here let's reach your right leg up to the sky now bending your right knee on your exhalation I want you to bring your right knee towards your right elbow slowly from here extend it all the way back out exhale touch your elbow for two inhale reach up exhale touch your elbow for three inhale reach up exhale touch your elbow for four and then open so your right heel starts to come closer towards your left wrist and then release the shin bone onto the mat wiggle your back foot and see if you can add a little bit of a bounce here if you are feeling a little bit of restriction and then once you get down into your pigeon let's bring the fingertips and press them into the mat press into the fingertips and open up your body as you inhale and as you exhale take your body all the way down inhale open exhale release inhale open exhale release and one more time inhale open exhale come on down let's just hold here to this pigeon pose really getting deep into that right glute muscle focusing on the breath finding the stillness and then putting a tiny little smile on your face and finding gratitude Now slowly from here, let's come on up. Bring your hands next to the side of your body. Lift your body up. At this time, keep your right hand right along the center of your mat. Take your left arm up and begin to bend your back knee and see if you can grab your heel. Now you can again just add very gentle movement here by bouncing this knee very gently. Don't go too crazy. Just a little bit to kind of get the, the muscle warmed up. And then see if you can pull it a little bit closer towards your glute. Now, if you're pretty comfortable here, I'm gonna show you how to do a mermaid. So do a mermaid, you're going to actually take your left hand and bring it over so the foot is hugged by the left elbow. Then you have your hand here. You could either just interlace your fingers like this, and this could be more than enough for you, or you can begin to open and lift your elbow and open yourself up into that mermaid pose. opening your center lifting your body up and then slowly release come on down flex your foot and what I want you to do here is press into the ground and see if you can just extend this right leg we're gonna go a little deeper into that TFL and IT band slowly from here you're gonna drop the knee look up exhale push and extend for two inhale drop the knee look up exhale push and extend for three inhale drop your knee look up exhale push and extend let's hold it here so your right foot is along the left edge of your mat or even past your mat if that's easier to keep your 
balance and not slip. Left hand stays grounded along the center and then see if you can add one more twist. And again, if you're feeling extra tight, you may not want to go into the twist. You can just hang out here. Otherwise, for those of you guys that do feel quite open, see if you can reach your right arm now up to the sky. And this feels so good through your IT band, through your TFL. If you do a lot of running, a lot of hiking, this is gonna be a really good one for you. So finding the stillness in this twisted version of this posture and finding gratitude for the sensation that you're feeling right now. Being able to find movement, a posture that can give you relief, that can give you healing. One more deep breath in. Now exhale, slowly begin to release your right hand down. Then you're going to press your weight forward and bring that right knee towards your elbow. Exhale, extend it up into three-legged dog. Bending your right knee, go ahead and twi open into your wild thing, reversed upward dog. And then come back to center. Roll and reach yourself over, three-legged dog, and flow it out, coming through, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go to the other side. Left leg reaches up, bending the knee, placing the knee to your left elbow for one. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, touch your elbow for two. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, touch your elbow for three. And one more time. Touch your elbow, hold. And now just turn so then your shin bone can come down onto the mat. And start to wiggle your right foot back. And again, feel free to add a tiny gentle bounce here if that feels good. And then come on down to your pigeon pose. Grounding the fingertips onto the mat, let's press and open and lift your body. Exhale, release with the body. So again, finding that fluidity, that movement, that beautiful energetic dance of your body through the up and down in this pigeon. Good, one more time. Inhale, press and open the body. Exhale, now come all the way. Stack your hands and your arms. And let's just release for a couple of breaths here, going deeper into your glute muscle. Breathing in and exhale out. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. Now slowly lifting yourself up. And let's keep your left hand along the center of your mat, reach your right arm up. Bend your right knee and see if you can just grab that heel. Start to add gentle tiny bounces just to see where that limitation is for you. Where do you feel where you cannot go any further? Now, you might just wanna hang out here and work on increasing the flexibility through the quadricep. If you feel a little bit more open and up for it, then you can go ahead and take your right arm, extend it out and give your left foot a hug. Then connect the two fingers or the four fingers and then begin to lift that left elbow up and see if you can open into your mermaid. And open and hold here, feeling that release, finding that gratitude for this pose that feels so good and is so good for your body. Awesome. Let's release. Come on down with both hands. Flex your left foot, press into the ground. And now let's just begin to extend and see if you can take a full extension of this left leg, keeping the foot flexed. And then inhale, bend your knee, drop the hips, look up. 
Exhale, press and extend for two. Inhale, bend the knee, look up. Exhale, press and extend for three. Inhale, bend the knee, look up. Exhale, extend, hold it here. And again, feeling the sensation through your leg. And then seeing if you'd like to go any further, then you can take your right hand and then reach your left arm up to the sky. So a bit of an awkward looking reverse triangle, if you say, but we're going deeper with the intention to release stiffness out of your IT band here. And if the twist is too much, you're gonna keep both hands on the mat. Let's release the hand now. Both palms of your hands grounded on the floor. From here, you're gonna bend the knee and just bring the knee towards the left tricep and then extend it all the way up into three-legged dog. Bending your left knee and go ahead and take your wild thing, opening and turning as you reach and out, opening the heart center here. Deep breath in. Exhale, come back through. Three-legged dog. Extend the leg and go ahead into your flow. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Let's just take a breath here. Notice how your body's feeling right now. One more inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of the mat. Go ahead and jump through and land over to a seated position on your mat. Good. From here, let's just extend into your Navasana, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, holding. And then come on down with your hands. Drop your feet onto the mat and come on down to your back. We're going to take our full wheel one more time. So again, remember there's a couple variations here. Feel free to continue with your bridge if that's where you're at today still. Lift and squeeze your glutes, interlacing your fingers. Or if you'd like to take it further, bend those elbows and plant the palms of your hands onto the mat. You can walk your feet a little closer to have a little more balance and then press into the hands and lift your body up so you can just rest on the crown of your head, except the weight is actually staying on your hands. So your crown of your head isn't really feeling much except just the connection of the floor. And then if you'd like to go further, open. And this is where you can really go and open yourself up in that full wheel and if you're comfortable, begin to walk your hands closer towards your feet. A really great heart opening posture. I'm just breathing here. And walk it back. Tuck your chin into the chest as you drop your upper back down. Release the hands and slowly take it down through one vertebra at a time. Three two and one great job just take a second let your back settle and then from here bend your knees cross your ankles bring yourself right back up inhale reach the arms up exhale just take a gentle lean forward just to give a nice counter pose to our wheel posture inhale and exhale Inhale again, and then exhale, walk your hands back over to the top of the mat. Lift yourself up on your knees. Step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good, now from this downward facing dog, we're going to do another set of our dolphins, and then we're going to move into our headstand one more time. Hopefully this will give you more opportunities to start playing with it and practicing it. So let's go ahead and come down onto our elbows. Now you can keep your hands separate if that's easier for you or you can interlace the fingers like so. Let's bring the feet together. So we're in a dolphin, deep breath in. Now as you exhale, let's go ahead and come down into plank for 10. Lift up, nine, 
Inhale, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, bend your knees. Come on down, just with the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Let's go ahead and try our headstand again. So what we're gonna do is come on up first to your dolphin and then begin to walk your feet. Once you get to a point where you feel comfortable, start to tuck the chin in and bring the top of the head right down. Just make sure you're not putting all your body weight to the head. Most of your weight is staying on your elbows, on your forearms. Now begin to walk your feet. Now you guys remember what we've done in the past, just play with it a little bit, seeing if you can take one weight off and just come onto the tippy toes and switch. Just take whatever time you need, even if you have to pause the video here, that's totally fine. And then if you're ready, then you can start by bringing one foot up at a time, like so, and just holding here for a moment, and then seeing how comfortable you are to extend the legs up into your headstand. Another version, much more challenging, for those of you that feel comfortable doing this, is to try and actually do this with your legs straight. Now it's quite advanced, so I'll just show it to you, but again, you don't need to do it today. This is just for your own knowledge. So what you can do is start to engage the core and lift up. Once you get up, you press into the elbows. Your feet are together. Hold. So take maybe a couple minutes here if you need to and just practice making sure you're supporting your head and you're moving all of your weight to your forearms. And if you need to just hang out with your knees bent for a while until you get the hang of the weight transfer, until you can then start to extend the legs. So take your time. Now, if you've mastered this, you want to take it one step further, you can start to play with the legs by doing the eagle or doing even a full lotus. Quite more advanced, I'm just showing to anyone that is wishing to go further. All right, leg. when you're ready to come out, slowly release, bend your knees, and come on down into child's pose just to let ourselves settle for a moment. Try to rest your forehead right down on the mat and just take a gentle rock side to side. Giving yourself a moment to reconnect. Reconnect with your breath and check in how that felt for you. How did it feel for you to try the headstand in the beginning of our program and how does it feel for you to do it right now? Was it a little bit easier? Remember, it will take time and you have to have patience and also dedication to keep practicing, to keep trying and remembering that you are exactly where you need to be. So there is no pressure to do the posture. The fun lies in the journey of it, in discovering your body, how to move your body, how to hold your body, how to find strength and power within your body. That's the real benefit that we gain out of this posture. Let's take one more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, coming through, let's just begin to release all the way till the Hips can come down as you open into that upward facing dog. Just notice how you feel. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Make a smile on your face and find gratitude. Slowly release and come down into downward facing dog. Taking a breath in your downward facing dog and then walking your feet slowly about the middle of your mat and then coming down into a seated position on your mat what we're going to do here is just bring the soles of your feet together and open into a nice gentle butterfly grabbing onto your toes 
Then inhale, extending through the spine and just really reaching up to the sky. Feeling that energy, that prana from the base of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. Just pay attention to what you may feel here, your energy. And then smile. Find gratitude for this energy, this vital life force that creates this beautiful experience for you. This beautiful human experience for you. Take another deep breath in, open, and exhale. Let's slowly begin to release all the way down. From here, just holding your butterfly pose and letting go with your forehead to the floor. Just finding your breath, your stillness, your gratitude for the last seven days of working hard on your body, on your mind. Slowly come on up. And then bring your knees together. And from here, go ahead and start to release yourself into our final posture, our morning practice today, your Shivasana. So come on down, relax your body. And let's take a breath and let it go. Checking in with yourself and asking yourself, how do you feel right now? How do you feel in comparison to how you felt an hour ago? How do you feel in comparison to how you felt seven days ago? A month ago even, a year ago. Just check in, inquire with a loving curiosity, with no judgment, just simple acceptance of where you are right now is exactly where you need to be. Go ahead and relax your face. Hold no tension in your face whatsoever. Allow your eyes to feel heavy. Your shoulders to relax and release into the mat. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Become aware of your heartbeat and say thank you. Thank you for keeping me alive and healthy and strong. For pumping all this new oxygenated blood into my body, to my internal organs, allowing me to thrive and experience this beautiful life. Be grateful for your hands. Saying thank you for allowing me to feel, to touch, to grab, to use in every way that I need to to enhance my experience of life. Say thank you to your feet. Say thank you for holding me up, giving me the power to move, to stand, to hold, to run, to dance, to do yoga, to do everything 
that I want in order to experience this beautiful life. Let go of your body now and allow yourself to sink deeper and deeper into the ground. Now let's slowly begin to bring awareness back to our physical body. So with this loving gratitude, begin to move your hands. Feel the energy, feel each finger. Touch the palm, if you can, of your hand, your wrist. And then start to move your toes, your ankles. Sending gratitude to your feet. And then bring your legs together and then bring your arms up over your head and give yourself one final big stretch. And then bend your knees and roll over to one side. And then come on up to your seated position on your mat. Let's close the eyes for a moment and take this opportunity right now to reconnect with the breath. Sitting up tall, feeling this energy from the base of your spine moving upward to the crown of your head. Check in with yourself. How are you feeling right now? Do you feel a greater sense of gratitude for everything that you are and for everything that you've come to be since the day you were born? When you're ready, let's slowly bring the palms of your hands together and over to your heart. I'm taking this one final opportunity here to bow down towards our heart. And as you bow down to your heart, say thank you to yourself. Thank you for this energy you've been bringing to every single morning class, for your playfulness, for your curiosity, for your patience and for your power. May this be the first step in this beautiful journey for you. May you always continue to grow and evolve to become the highest authentic self you can be. Now, as you take a couple more breaths, just think about what you have to do today. Think about your day you're about to have. And you, when you begin to bring your mind into this future, take a moment to recognize every single way that you can find gratitude today. I want to leave you with this challenge for the rest of your day, is see how many times you can take a pause, you can take a breath, and look up, look around you, look within you, and realize how lucky you are and how grateful you are for everything that you have. And this conscious gratitude can be for something so small that we never think about, but it could really bring this beautiful energy 
into your whole state of awareness. So being grateful for sunshine on your face, or being grateful for friends, family, your loved ones, or for the opportunities that life gives you in your life. Finding gratitude for every tiny little thing will only allow you to expand your energy, this cosmic energy that is all around you, and to attract more things to be grateful for. So keep that in your heart as you move on with your day. And be aware and see how many times you can find this sense of gratitude. Thank you so much for your wonderful practice today. Thank you for joining me every single day. It's been an honor. I send you so much love, so much light. And I really hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And I'll see you tonight in our final Reconnect session. Namaste. Welcome to Nicaragua. I am so excited to share something so special with you guys. Um, we are here right now at Morgan's Rock Eco Lodge, this incredible place we've been able to find in Nicaragua. It's honest to God, one of the most beautiful places I've been in. You've got like literally a private beach. You've got a jungle, most incredible people here and a beautiful yoga shala behind me that we've been putting our blood, sweat and tears every single day for the last week, creating something really, really special. And that is a boho beautiful retreat. All right, so what's included in the Boho Beautiful Retreat Program? Now, before I get into all the details about the retreat, I wanted to share with you something that happened when we got to this yoga shala that we didn't even plan for. So when we got here to Nicaragua, right in the center of this yoga studio is this incredible ancient tree. Well, firstly, we're gonna go through a full exploration of yoga, meaning you're going to be given different styles of yoga classes each day to really begin to expand your practice and grow. And you see the roots coming down onto the earth and oh, there's just like this unbelievable energy about it that I thought was such perfect symbolism for not only on the journey we're gonna go through together in this retreat, but also to symbolize this new start of a new decade, of a new year. But you know what, why don't I take you to the tree so you can see it for yourself? So when it came to creating a program to bring to everyone, we thought how cool would it be to be able to provide the experience of a yoga retreat without actually having to leave the comfort of your own home. And that means you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on traveling and accommodation. You don't need to take time away from your family and your responsibilities and work. You can simply find just some time each day to go into this journey of exploration through yoga and self-awareness. So we're talking Hatha Yoga, Vinyasa, Ashtanga, Yin Yoga, Yoga Nidra, and different types of meditations. And the really beautiful thing about it as well is that you can do it with someone that you love. You know, you can do this with a friend, you can do it with your family, you can do it with your partner, your husband, your wife, or you can do it on your own. It's really, really special. Each single day will have its own intention, a different theme to help you go deeper. In the morning, we're going to find a way to disconnect and really dive deep into the physical aspect of yoga. And then the evening, we're going to reconnect with ourselves, with our inner beings, and go through another exploration of more gentle, meditative types of yoga. Plus the entire program, I'll be doing it live, meaning live audio. So you really get the experience as if you're right here with me in Nicaragua in this beautiful yoga shala going through a yoga journey. So this is it, you guys. You can get it at www.bohobeautiful.life. And that's the thing about this retreat as well, is that it is open to all levels. 
if you're more of an advanced yogi, you'll be able to push your practice that much further and find that much more growth through different difficult postures. Plus, what's really exciting is that for the first time ever, this program is going to be available as an app on Android and iOS, meaning that you can stream it directly from your iPad, from an app, from a laptop. And if you're more of a beginner or just starting out yoga, there'll be tons of modifications provided so you can still get all the benefits of every class without feeling overly intimidated by the postures. Or if you have a smart TV at home, you can have it right there in your living room. So by the end, I'm confident that you will finish this retreat feeling ready to start a new chapter in your life of self-growth and self-exploration to become the best version of yourself. So, are you ready to do this? Are you ready to start your decade, the next 10 years of your life in the most positive and beautiful way? And I hope you are because I'm really excited for you to join me here in beautiful Nicaragua on this journey together. I'll see you on the mat.